hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here please hit the notification bell subscribe so that you don't fit, miss out on future readings this one's going to be on what other dirty little secrets about you um how they feel what they want to do to you um this one's going to be for sure an 18 plus if you are under 18 please do not go any further um this is about to get raunchy as f okay and um stick around we will have some added messages from uh, these little notes inside this box. So whatever our cards can't tell us, uh, the notes in the box will tell us further, okay? So uh, stick around for that. Please, if there's anything that you like about this video, if there's anything that resonates, give me a like. It helps my channel grow. Comment. I love reading your guys' comments, okay? Um, I do have a Patreon account. I've had it for two months now. We are growing strong. We have about, I think, 37 people at this time. I do give more life to this account, okay? I'm not that much on YouTube anymore. I'm giving more and more life to my Patreon account. So if you'd like to see more activity from me, you might want to check that out. Link will be in the description box. Um, so let's go forth here. Uh, pile one will be your amethyst. Pile two will be your jade crystal. Pile three will be your rose quartz. And pile four will be your citrine. Feel free to pause the video, but if not, let's get into it. Starting with pile one. Okay. Okay, Amethyst. If you guys missed uh, the intro, this is an 18 plus pick a card. I am not joking. It's about to get raunchy as F in here. Um, so if you are under, under 18, please click off. Uh, another thing to check out my Patreon account. We are growing strong, guys. We have 37 members at this time. I started it two months ago. And I am giving more and more life um, to this account. So if you'd like to see more activity from me, you might want to check it out, okay? It's in the description box. Um, so let's go very slowly here. Can we see everything? Okay, great. Um, we have another card from the Rebel deck we will be drawing in a minute, okay? In a bit. Uh, let's just get to this. So we have um, a highly, I would say, aggressive person. Now, if this person is not coming across, you know, publicly as an aggressive person this one has this person has some dark dark fantasies okay dark fantasies um they could be of more of like an alpha type presence where they like to dominate in the bedroom okay um there's so much going on here it's like unbelievable so let's just go like slow starting from left to right so there's something here with bondage oh goodness um i'm not so much into that i would more rather tie up my partners <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you're into that. Um, this person would love to do the handcuff thing, you know, tie you up. Um, there's something really about you being helpless. And, you know, this is a friendly type reading. Don't get scared now and think that, you know, they're, um, you know, a Jeffrey Dahmer, okay? This is just a friendly type thing. Definitely of something that you would be giving your consent to, okay? But they are into bondage of some sorts. They would love to tie you up. Um, blindfold is on here as well. Um, really have their way with you. Okay. Have their way with you. Um, I, I get here with the five of, uh, of swords here. They like banter. So there's something here about, you know, if you were to kind of banter with them, that would turn them on. There are some people out there guys. Okay. Who like that, you know, you give them a piece of your mind and you are just angry and they're just like, get upstairs right now like it's hot okay so they really much they very much also enjoy like play for playful bantering where maybe there are some emotions of anger um but this can also very much even indicate as well as like your makeup okay your makeup sex okay um very much into that um it's a part of the whole makeup process they're into that okay and it's like there's something with the pheromones um, or the testosterone or something along those lines where when they're fueled, it's like better, you know, the, the, the event is more better. I'm trying to use certain words here because you all know how YouTube is getting. Um, so I, I would really not want this thing, you know, this video to be removed. So just try to read between the lines. Magician is here. So this person's very crafty, you know, would totally be down um, to go to, uh, you know, a store with you, an SEX store. Um, would love to kind of like explore, you know, places, 
things. Um, he's actually, it looks like he's actually holding like a D-I-L-D-O in his hand, okay? Um, so would be willing and down to do that with you. I feel like with this pile, this person might, you know, especially with the emperor, because he can be a type of rigid guy, a type of person who's more, you know, um, grumpier, you know, rigid. You are having, you are bringing the capacity out of this person that makes them feel like they could actually be themselves. So you are the one, honey, that they would want to do this with. It's, I don't feel like they've been able to find a match or maybe they have, but not many. But this person feels very comfortable um, to kind of want to explore this with you. So they think about this a lot, okay? Um, scenarios. There's a lot of things here with scenarios. I'm feeling, um, like I said, like places, you know, there could be props as well, different outfits, role playing, um, you know, I don't know. There could be something with doctor nurse here. I don't know why. Um, that's so hot though, isn't that hot? And then this, like, I mean, come on, like this exactly represents the, the genitalia, okay? Do you see the tip of that thing? Do you see the tip of that thing? So this person's already heated up for you. I don't know if you've already experienced each other, but if you haven't, um, it's, it's, it's boiling, it's boiling, it's boiling up, okay? It's at a point right now where um, it wants to kind of expl implode, okay? Um, with the print, with the page of swords as well here, um, this there, this could point to maybe a, a discussion before these kind of things take place. So this person could be very into texting, or what do they call it? S e x t i n g. I'm very into that. Talking about what wants one wants to happen before it occurs. There's a very playful energy here. It's fun. That's why I said don't worry. This you don't have nothing to be scared about with this. This is very playful energy. Um, but I will say it is intense because we do have the devil card here. So like I said, I don't know if this person has experienced you yet, but if they have not, um, it drives them nuts. With the nine of cups here, like I said, you are definitely the one in their eyes that they feel like they could have a really good time with, okay? Now, we're not talking about love here. I'm not saying that the person doesn't love you. We are just going with the title of this video. So there's definitely elements of you that give them like an intuitive feeling that you would be a good partner, okay, to explore all this stuff with. Hanged man, again, we have some sort of bondage, okay, this guy is hanging he by his leg, I mean, there could be a lot of like different positions, this is a very active person, okay, um, in the bedroom, um, they would be very active, um, and very explorative, okay? I don't even know if that's a word, but um, this is not like you're just your sideways position, okay? Or, you know, whatever is lazy um, and just, you know, missionary. This is not your person. This is a person who's gonna be like going rounds and a person who wants to kind of like really explore all the different, you know, things they can explore. Um, things that probably I don't even know about, okay? Um, things that most people don't even know about. Um, so could there could be books out there. This could be like a Kama Sutra person. Um, with the devil card here, though, I will let you know that this person has intense feelings for you. Um, you know, sexual desires, okay? Um, hence why the reading is coming forth so, like, sexual. Like, I, I have no other words to say. Um, but... You know, there could be also elements of your personality that make them think that you would be a good fit too. So you could be also very seductive. Seductive. You could be, you know, um, not a girl who's like, you know, a, a cutesy girl next door type. You could be coming across as very, you know, um, that type of girl, okay, or that, 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 that type of person that uh, would be into all of this, okay? Uh, I'm not going to put anything past this pile, um, anything past this pile, okay? So whatever you can think about. I'm not really getting here um, like strong fetishes, like, you know, those ones that are really weird, um, but I'm getting like the normal ones, the normal ones, like you see, like bondage, um, you know, tying someone up with handcuffs, going to a store to kind of find stuff. Um, in no way am I saying that there's any kind of awkward fetishes here, because that would be very weird. And I know there's some that are really, really weird that point to Usually something that happened in their childhood um, because there's no explanation for why they would have them. Um, but yes, this is a very playful nature and 
maybe you two have a type of banter or maybe you have like a love-hate relationship and that's kind of what's exuding from this pile it's like that love-hate thing you know hence why it's like we have anger and we have like like desire you know it's, it's hot you got a feeling you just can't shake that little voice inside you listen to that s-h-i-t so this could point to the fact that you know all this already, okay? Or maybe you have an inkling about this person that they are a F-R-E-A-K, okay? You have some sort of feeling about this, okay? Um, maybe you feel vibes with this person. Maybe there's a connection. Maybe it's a part of your connection. I'm not saying that there's not love here, but there's also desire. And it, the card, this card is predominantly saying, don't ignore it, okay? And if this um you know pile is somewhat resonating this is also your sign okay so let's i'm really scared because these are <laughs> let's see what these say okay let's pick this one and let's pick this one so let's see here oh my god i want to make you squirt oh this person is into squirting um <laughs> To be honest, um, I'm not familiar with this type of, um, you know, situation. I've always thought it was very interesting because I never understand how the female body can do that. But um, this person wants to do this. Maybe they're into this. Maybe their goal is to make you do this. I know that there's videos on this stuff for people um, to show them how to make a woman do that. So this person is kind of, you know, like I told you, like, I'm not surprised. Okay. I'm not surprised. I want to spank you so hard. Oh my God, guys. So we have a F-R-E-A-K here on our hands, okay? Um, this person's into dominating. Um, you know, they want to they wanna do this. They want to spank and they want to squirt. <laughs> okay, so like, what's good about this though, I will say though, is that this person is all about your pleasure, which is good. So that's, that's really excellent. Um, we want... Um, people who are like this. So this person's very focused on you. If you think about it, there hasn't been one thing said about them. Okay, so it's all about you and pleasing you. So wow, this was a hot pile to start with. I mean, how? where do we go from here? So pile one, wow, let me know what you thought. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, pile two, our jade crystal. Now, if you skip the intro to this video, guys, um, this is an 18 plus pick a card. I am like dead serious on this one. It's about to get raunchy as F in here. Um, so please, if you are under 18, click off. Um, but we are definitely gonna give you the spook scoop here. And you know, if you are looking for more activity from me, guys, you might wanna check out my Patreon channel. I've just started it over about two months ago. We have 37 members at this time. We have a lot of fun over there. So if you're looking for more activity, definitely check it out, okay? So we're here. I, I feel like I could take a breath of fresh air just because pile one was very intense. So now we're kind of like falling into a different energy, which is not bad, okay? It's just as good, um, but it's different. So this here, I'm feeling more like, instead of like hot desire, I'm feeling more of a love connection, which nothing wrong with that absolutely not um this person i'm getting that type of energy where someone would just want to like spend time with you and just look at your eyes and get to know you everything else after that would be like a bonus okay there's a lot of romance here you're coming across as the queen of cups they look at you as maybe a type of person who could be a little shy or a person who they would definitely have to kind of you know peel the onion okay um, you're very beautiful. Um, they're dirty little thoughts. Um, we will get to, like I said, we have some in here, okay, that are definitely will give you more. But um, when it comes to these cards, um, your beauty. So they're dirty little thoughts. They're not that dirty. They're more uh, just about your beauty. Now with the devil card, I feel like this is more of an intensity of wanting to be with you, um, just wanting to be in your presence. So there is an obsession here but more about presence, um, just wanting to hold you in their arms, um, be with you, look at you in your eyes, like, you know, pull the hair out of your face. Um, I'm not saying that there's no, like, you know, sexual relations here, because there are. Um, with the Page of Swords here, there's, there's a swiftness here of action. 
I feel like to some degree, I don't know if there's been time that's passed or it's like they're waiting, but they want to strike, okay? And this to me feels like the male genitalia. It's like it's overdue. Like they just want to be inside you and just, you know, take off with that. You know, it could be a very quick thing at first just because it's been so long or the, the, the relationship is so intense, but this is many times over. So this person would definitely be able to go like multiple times, but I'm feeling with the page of swords, it's like an energy of swiftness. So there could be just wanting to take you and grab you like, you know, in those romantic movies where they just pick the woman up and they just grab her and they just um, throw her on that bed and they just have their way. Yeah, it's like that, um, but I'm not picking up any kind of like like as, a, as opposed to pile one where it was like there was fetishes, okay? There's no fetishes here. This is just good, clean fun, folks. <laughs> but like I said, we have to get to here, okay? Um, so um, you feel like home. There's elements of you feeling like home with the Six of Cups. So this points to kind of more of like a deeper connection where um, I'm not saying that they're aware of this, but it's more along the lines where it's like, I know you, I want to be in your presence. Being in your presence makes me feel really good, really good. Now, with the world card here, that could definitely be watching you. Um, when I see the world card here and I see the page of swords, this could also be, um, you know, um, one a person who's taking, you know, their um, desires into their own hands, if you know where I'm going with that, while watching you on the World Wide Web, okay? You are very stunning to them. They love to look at you. Um, I don't think this person could ever get tired of looking at you. There's something definitely here with looking, okay? They like to watch you. I mean, I feel like there, this could be also to watching you do things to yourself. There could definitely be this here as well. Um, just something about having their eyes on you does it for them, does it for them. With the lovers here in the Ace of Cups, like I said to you, this is a lot more of a mild, milder situation, but it's in no way like any lesser, okay? So there's love, there's passion, but this is not like, for example, let's say you clicked on this video and you're talking about, you know, you're inquiring for a man that you're interested in. This is not a man who... I would say, you know, is going to take you and wanting to do kind of like sadistic things or, you know, have a threesome with you. This is more like your wife, you know, like, like you could be a wife of this person, but um, this is more like the person that you would consider your wife. Like they wouldn't even want you to be in any kind of situations um, where it would be kind of raunchy. Um, but like I said, like we have to get to those papers here. So this is beautiful energy. This is lovemaking. This is all lovemaking. Look, we have the Prince of Cups. This guy wants to wine and die in you. You know, he would love to just start off with a bottle of wine, you know, at a fancy restaurant, look at you in your eyes, get to know you. There's definitely a deeper, deeperness here. Okay. It's not just like we're just focused on the relation of it all. Okay. Um, it's, it's a lead up, there's a lead up and you know, this is definitely love because when someone wants to spend this kind of time with you, um, there's definitely something more happening here. Okay. Now just give me a moment. I want to see if I pick up anything more. Hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling guidance to anything more. So let's just get into this card. Some good SHIT is about to happen. Don't let your issues F it up. So I don't know if this is some uh, like an extra added bonus of advice. Maybe this relationship is not coming the way you want it to come. Like it's not happening the way, you, you know, maybe you're waiting. Um, it's saying to not let your issues F it up. So what do I mean by this? This could be issues in regards to maybe you are putting this thing on a time, you know, span. Or maybe you're like, okay, this person's not moving quick enough. There's definitely elements of this person who um, is definitely a little bit, you know, um, taken aback by the connection. They really want to make sure whatever they do is right. Um, there could be a shyness with this person as well, too. Um, they could be nervous with the hanged man, all kinds of stuff, okay? Um, you are so beautiful to them. They've somehow, I feel like, in a sense, put you on a pedestal. And they themselves don't know how to behave, okay? Um, but it's about to happen, it says, okay? So be patient. I mean, I'm not saying to stop living your life, but um, it's calling for you to have patience. So 
let us get to these um let's let us get to these here i don't know what you're gonna get because this is a lot more of a milder connection so let's do this one and let's do this one okay i want to explore every inch of you so this person really wants to take their time with you really take their time you know i'm, I'm even seeing like in front of a fireplace and like like kissing that would go for like an hour and everything's an hour like this is not a fast thing okay um this is like the whole night experience and they just want to savor every moment of it so that's why i'm trying to tell you this person's really into you like you know the, who does this if they don't feel this way okay um let's see what's going on here i want to penetrate you deeply okay so this, I'm glad we got these two because there's some messed up SHIT inside that box, okay? <laughs> Let me just tell you. So um, I'm glad we got these two because it, it clarifies basically as a reader what I was sensing from here. This is not anything that is over the top, um, you know, like I said, with bondage and whatnot. This is a person who just really wants to be with you, okay? Explore you deeply, love you deeply, Um but the pen, they want to penetrate you deeply. Okay, so everything's deeply here. Um, but it could be very slow as well. I should have put slow here. You know, that would have helped as well too because I'm feeling like this is slow lovemaking, okay? Um, this is not like your, you know, um, quick, you know, bang, thank you, ma'am, or whatever you call it, um, or like a quickie. This is not quickie energy whatsoever. There's nothing chaotic about this. This is slow moving energy, beautiful energy, just savoring the moment. So if this is resonating, you have a person here who is really into you. And, you know, congratulations with that because, you know, these types of energies, they don't come along that often, okay? So pile two, very interesting. Uh, let me know what you thought, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Okay, pile three, our beautiful rose quartz. Guys, if you missed the intro of this video, I am not joking when I say that this is an 18 plus pick a card. You need to click off this video ASAP if you are under 18, because um, it's about to get raunchy as F in here, okay? And, um, oh, you have two cards here. That's weird. Okay, um, that's weird. I really thought I only pulled one, but that's weird. So maybe there's something that someone will know, okay? This could be for somebody. We'll get to that in a bit. Um, also, um, check my Patreon link in my um, description box. We are growing strong here with only two months um, of having it, 37 members. We have a lot of fun over there. And if you're looking for more activity from me, that is definitely to the place to find me. So let's get into this reading here. Um, oh, goodness. Give me a moment here. Um, give me a moment because this one's a bit trickier. Um, this is a different type of energy. This is like a little bit aggressive, but it's also very much, um, tired energy, like waiting too long. There's something here with waiting too long. This person I'm getting at, like, I'm getting like a male person, not you who's picked this, not you who's watching the person you're inquiring. I'm getting like a male energy who is just really built up. Okay. Built up inside themselves. If you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And uh, wanting to release. Um, there's something that come when it comes to you. It's I, I don't know if it's been taking too long or something's happened here. But um, this person's watching you like a lot. Like they are watching you a lot, especially here because we have a three of pentacles. So this could be a work connect connection might not be but I can't deny the fact that we have two women here and it's like someone's watching them. So this person's watching you and they want to get you alone with this hermit card, okay? Now with the tower here, this is explosive energy. So this could be like a situation where, um, you know, you just, you get the person alone and you just throw them up against the wall, okay? Um, it's like, there's not even like a time where it's like, like a lead up, okay? Now, this person, what are their little dirty thoughts about you? Okay, what are their dirty thoughts about you? The fact that they're having so many, okay? We have the Seven of Cups here and we have the Nine of Swords. So this person, I don't know if they can't get to you anymore. I don't know if the Justice card can indicate so many different things. And because this is a general reading, we can talk about them. 
Um, this could be that right now it's not happening. Um, maybe there's been some justice on their end where they've gotten the shoe from you um, in the sense where it's like maybe they did something wrong, but it's like they're having aggravated energy at night when it comes to you. It's like, I don't know if they're not able to get to you or maybe you've cut them off, but they want to kind of like, um, they're very still, they're still sexually attracted. So it's hard for them. Now, um, this person could be waking up from dreams. So this is going into actually the dream state as well. They're overburdened with all of this. It's funny too, because with the four of cups, they're currently manifesting you at the same time. So it's like, they don't know what to do. Um, this is interesting guys. I didn't think this would go this way. Okay. Uh, you know, I have to go with what my cards say. Um, you know, um, I'm going to try my best to pick up what I can, but I cannot, uh, ignore the fact that I have an overwhelming abundance of feelings here of someone who's not able to get to you, but so they are having dirty little thoughts, but they are also having other thoughts, which is remorse or feeling aggravated by the energy, the overwhelming energy of, of you. Okay. Not maybe kind of getting off their mind. Maybe they can't, um, shake you. Um, they want it to be done, but they can't. There's something about your love that is very intense and very addictive. So they want to experience it over and over again. But like I said, I feel like with the justice card, there's some kind of block. Okay. Now, um, I'm getting here very much like a quickie type energy, but I feel like the reason why I'm getting the quickie type energy is because they haven't had you in a while. So it's like the first couple of times would be so explosive. There is explosiveness, okay, with the tower card here. You are very, very sexy to them in the sense where um, it's overwhelming, okay? They might not be used to a woman like you. They may not be used to your type. They could be used to like maybe these cutesy types and you're just so overwhelming for them, but they think about you all day long. So these dirty little, these dirty thoughts are going all through the, the day, okay? And especially when they're alone. So if they're alone, I feel like there's some elements of them too doing things to themselves, okay? In res with respect to you because they can't do anything about it. They're aggravated. Look at them working. They have this face on them. They're aggravated by this. They want it. They're almost actually mad. So this could be some... Okay, so I'm actually seeing something else now. So I don't know if you'd know about this type of SEX that has like an aggressive nature to it, but it's because you're mad with each other. It's like it's that type of aggressive mad SEX. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here, okay? Where it's like two people who are just like, I hate you, but but there's this, okay, which is the desire for each other. So very sexually attracted to each other, um, but at the same time, can't stand each other. And that could just because maybe you're, you know, you're a lot alike, or maybe, you know, uh, this person behaves a certain way and you are not having it. So ugh, this is difficult um, because you guys do belong together. Like as far as, you know, sexually, it's just Maybe the personalities clash, okay? Um, with the tower card here, this is a very, very overwhelming energy. It's chaotic. It really is. And the, the encounter, the, you know, S-E-X-U-A-L encounter would be chaotic as well. It would be all over the place. I mean, you guys could be literally punching each other too. Um, I'm not saying that he would punch you, but you would punch him or probably want to choke him out, you know, because you can't stand him. But at the same time, he gives good love, okay? Um... Hmm. Let me see what else I get from this. They like to watch you. There's elements of that here. So um, I feel like because you're another with another woman, they could definitely maybe want to be into like a, a threesome with you. Um, they probably have an energy of like liking that and you would be the type of woman that they feel like would be a good fit for that. You might not want to hear that. That could just be for some of you. Now, if you have a guy or you're with somebody who would never even think of, you know, inquire about that, don't blow off the whole reading because of that. Just don't apply it to yourself, okay? Because like I said, there's thousands of people who watch this. So not every reading can resonate, right? Okay? So let's get to these cool cards here. Ask a effing expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. So I feel like the professional is moi. Moi, okay? Um, whenever I get that card, I always know it's me, okay? So 
there could be elements of this reading that you need to pay attention to or, you know, take as a sign. But there's something within this reading that I feel like you need to hear. And I don't know what that is. You'll have to let me know in the comment section. Now, this is the card I did not see. Okay. And I don't know how it ended up. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some effing time alone and you know why. I don't know what's going on here. So this could be, I did not, you know, this is what freaks me out is I never saw this. When I was separating the pile, I never saw this one here. So you could, with the Hermit card, I don't know, need some time alone from this situation. This could be, like I said, a lot for you. Um, this could be your type of relationship where you guys are not good for each other, but there's some sort of like pull, okay, with desire and, you know, sexual desires. Um, but maybe you need to ask yourself how, mo how important are those sexual desires, okay, um, when nothing else works, you know? So that could just be for, like I said, a few of you out there. Don't blow off the whole reading just because we got a couple messages for other people. Now, what I'm curious to see is what is going to come out of that box. So let's, let's draw some. I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to go with this one. Let's see, guys. Your body drives me crazy. Yeah, so they love to watch you. They love to watch you. There could be a loving of, you know, you walking that drives them nuts. Um, but they love to watch you walk. Um, they love your body. There could be a Coca-Cola shape going on, and that could be even if you're thin too, okay? Don't think because you're thin, you don't have a Coca-Cola body. You know, if it's like this, yet you're 120 pounds, you still have a Coca-Cola body. Um, but your body is driving them nuts, and that's what's driving them nuts here with this Nine of Swords. It's like, can't stop thinking about it. Um, maybe they've had you before, okay? And it just, it, it's like, it stays on their mind. I feel like with this person as well too, they wouldn't even be able to um, get it, you know, done, okay, with someone else. Because there's something about your bio that they really like. I want to taste your lotus flower. So this person could have had a thing for tasting you, okay? We're trying to, like, use words here, okay? <laughs> I don't want this, uh, you know, video removed. So there's some elements of them really enjoying doing that to you, okay? They love it. It is like, I don't know, it just fuels them. That's something else they could be thinking about in their own time, okay, is how much they enjoy doing that to you. Now, I would say if, you know, um, you're a person who has experienced this person and they haven't done that with you or they don't, they're not into it, then don't apply it to them. Now, if you haven't have yet, if you've not yet experienced them, this is what you can look forward to, okay? Um, they are into overall big time, okay? So that's beautiful. That's wonderful because then it would all be about you, right? That's what we like, right? Because I feel like when it comes to this kind of thing, the woman should be, you know, you know, the woman is the one that should be, um, you know, satisfied the most, okay? Um, so with pile three, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought. Okay, pile four, Citrine. Guys, if you missed the intro to this video, I am not joking. If you are under 18, do not watch this because it's about to get raunchy as F, okay? Raunchy as F. So uh, please click off if you are not 18 and older. Um, lastly, before we start this reading, I have started a Patreon account. And um, we're two months in. We have 37 members. We have a lot of fun over there, guys. Um, you know, check it out. The link is in the description box. If you're looking for more activity, I definitely post there more. Okay. So we're back to being colorful. We're back to being colorful here. Um, we took a little bit of a dive in pile two and three, but we are back up in energy now. So this is, the energy is hot. The energy is ravishing. The energy is uh, up definitely with this one. Okay. Um, we have a person who's very creative. Um, they could be very creative actually than more than you are aware of. Um, we have a uh, two of wands here. This person is standing here with this globe, which says they are very cultured. They are very, um, you know, explorative is, I don't even know if that's a word, but they like to explore. Uh, we see that person who is just kind of really down for anything and everything. Um, now I'm not going into fetishes here. It's like, there's no dark fetishes here. Um, so don't take it that way, but like your usual stuff, okay? Like maybe, you know, um, I feel like there's an outdoorsy element here where this person loves to be, you know, maybe doing it with like in the grass or, you know, um, somewhere where there's nature. Because if you could see here, there's nature all around him. 
Uh, with the Page of Wands, this person has a ton of fire, a ton of fire. I mean, this is a good omen um, if we're inquiring about someone's stamina, okay? Their stamina is like, you know, high, so it's like an all-nighter, okay? All-nighter, all day. I mean, hell, if they really wanted to, it could be a couple days, a few days, okay? Um, Page of Wands, if you can see on here, he's very dressed up. He's very colorful. He has his props. There could be definitely a thing with role-playing, Um you know, I don't know why I'm seeing this because the wand and especially with the, ugh, oh goodness, guys. Okay, so he has his hand around his wand. There could be definitely something here with like um, self-gratifying in front of you. They would love for you to watch that. Or there could be things with props, loving props. There could be definitely things with props. Um, this looks like one big D-I-L-D-O to me, okay? So very into that. Um, but at the same time, you know what's great about this pile is that we have a balance. So we have the Page of Cups here. So there's definitely love. It's not just desire. There's also elements of love with the Page of Cups. So, um, you know, looking deeply into one's eyes, um, you know, maybe even expressing during the act. Uh, you're so beautiful. I love you. But, you know, we can't deny that, boom, again, we have the high priestess. So there could be a lot of hidden things that you don't know. But they're, I feel like they're, it's exciting. It would be interesting. It's like surprises, like good surprises, you know? I mean, who really wants a dud? Who really wants a dud in bed who's doing the same position? Who wants that? I, I don't. I really don't. So with the Knight of Wands here, there could be like a, like a, almost like a boyish nature in a sense. Like, um... How do I explain this? You know, um, I don't feel like this person outwardly comes off like this, but then it's like behind closed doors, there's a lot of secrets, okay? But good secrets. So this could be a person who is into different things, would be willing to explore, um, you know, definitely um, has the stamina for it, um, but definitely wants to explore you. So with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like there's a fire within this person towards you that never goes away it never goes away you know with the eight of wands here um and the six of swords there could be um elements of you know going away um d dirty thoughts in the sense of like loving to plan something like just sweeping you away and taking you somewhere into the middle of the woods who knows okay um but there's something about getting away. So even this person could be like, I would love to like take this person on a trip and just go to like a really romantic destination and just be with them for the first few days in the room, you know, and then maybe go out after. But, um, you know, you're really stunning and you could be like more of a full figured girl. If you're not, that's OK. Even if you're 130 pounds, you could still have, um, you know, a shape on you. OK, Um you know, she's beautiful. She's naked. Um, this person is definitely mesmerized by your curves, okay? Definitely the curves are a factor here. It drives them nuts, actually. And you know what else I like about the woman on the star card, too? She's really natural. She's really natural. There's nothing really, you know, like with the Queen of Wands, you can tell on the cards, like, she's made herself up a bit, you know? Like, she's put that eyeliner on. With this one, it's just natural. So, um, just wanting to explore your body, um, all the beautiful curves and, um, how natural you are, you know, um, with the five of wands, this is funny though. Um, there could be a little bit of a banter here between the two of you. Um, they would enjoy that a bit. Um, so what do I mean by that? That's kind of like when you have, you know, um, a person who likes when you kind of like tell them off or you're maybe very stern with them. They're attracted to strong women. Okay. So it's like a situation where you just told this person, okay, look, like, you're acting like an idiot. And it's like, the person's just like, wow, like, did she just really say that to me? But at the same time, they're turned on. So they're like, get upstairs right now, you know? So there could be something here with like discipline or maybe liking to spank. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but they want to take out their frustrations with the bantering behind the closed door. So this is really hot it's creative energy. It's um, a mix and balance of both desire and love. It's not just, you know, raunchy stuff. But like I said, we have to get to um, these last two here. So I might as well just take them out because you are the last pile. Um, but there's definitely something here with romance as well because we have like, you know, wanting to take the person away, you know. Um, they would be romantic. There's elements of romance here. So planning, you know, maybe a nice dinner, 
bottle of wine, sitting in front of the fireplace, going into the hot tub. You know, nine of wands, he will be very creative like that, you know? Um, he likes that extra added bonus. He's not just trying to get his rocks off, okay? So let's see what this says. Take a shot. Don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two, move on. Um, this kind of is funny to me. It makes me feel like um, to, ex to enjoy this person, like you would be so pleasantly surprised. You would probably need to take a couple shots, okay? Um, I don't know if there's a lot of nerves when it comes to the two of you, but alcohol could play a factor in it. So this good person could be thinking when they think about you and, you know, maybe planning something, there would definitely be like wine involved or, you know, alcohol of some sorts or just doing something to loosen up a bit, okay? Um, interesting, you know, that one is very interesting. Let me know if that resonates with you, if you and your person do that or... You know, if you know that the person that you're interested in is into that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, let's see what these say here. I want to make you come multiple times over. Yeah, this person's all about your pleasure. All about your pleasure. And they have the stamina to do it. So there's something really about, you know, I never thought about saying this, but with the Knight of Wands, it's got, this person could be younger than you, okay? Um, so they, there could be something here about really trying to please you or really show off, okay? And uh, make you feel like you're a queen or impress you in the bedroom. So I feel like with this one, wanting to make you do this multiple times over, they're very invested in um, your pleasures, which is always a two thumbs up from me. Always a two thumbs up. Okay, looking deep into your eyes. So making you come multiple times over while looking deep into your eyes. I mean, how hot is that, guys? How hot? So this is, like I said, your perfect balance of desire and passion and love. Because I'll tell you something. When someone doesn't really love you, um, they're not going to want to look into your eyes when they're doing this. It's actually very uncomfortable because... The windows are the eyes to the soul. So if you're just there for like, you know, to get your rocks off, why would you want to connect that way? You know, ask yourself that. So this person's very heavily invested in your pleasure and really wants to kind of impress you. But at the same time, they want to experience you in an esoteric cut, put, 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 excuse me, in an esoterical type way with the high priestess. So this is on a different level. They want to even kind of go to different realms with you, okay? I mean, how hot is that, guys? Wow. You know, I've, I'm very impressed with this reading. I've been, been impressed with all of them. Let me know what you guys thought. It's time for me to go and take a cold shower right now. But yes, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys.